Today in A Taste of Home, we're taking peanut butter and jelly and turning it into Santa's favorite cookie bars. And we started out with some flour and some sugar and a little bit of baking powder that we've already mixed together so it's nice and smooth. To this, we're going to go ahead and add our peanut butter. Oops, this way. Now add our peanut butter and also some butter too, a whole stick of butter. Now I chose crunchy peanut butter because that's what my Santa likes. But smooth works just as well. Basically we're making a, a peanut butter cookie dough. And I also have a 9 by 13 pan that's lightly greased and it's... <laughs> I also have a 9 by 13 that's put together so that it's waiting for us, lightly greased, good to go. This mixture needs to kind of wind up looking like a coarse sand. So let's go ahead and kind of mix it up first and then we'll start pulsing it. See it's starting to pull together? All right, looks like we're ready. So we're going to turn this off and pour it right on into this big bowl that we've got waiting here because we need to mix some eggs up into this. See what I mean? It's just kind of a nice consistency. It'll push right into our 9 by 13 really nicely. So I have two eggs that are slightly beaten and we're going to mix these in so it gives it a little moistness along with of course the peanut butter and that stick of butter we put in. Okay, we've got a nice consistency here. It'll perfectly push into this 9 by 13. And we're going to take about half of it and just push it just like this into the bottom. Now you could use regular grape jelly if you wanted to. That's really yummy, of course, with peanut butter. Uh, apricot jam would look really nice in this and be extra tasty. But for today, what we're going to do is use strawberry jam. And a little tip for you is I actually kind of soften this jam up for about 45 seconds in a microwave so it was a little easier to spread. And I'm using an offset spatula here. And it just spreads out nice and easy for us. And now we're just going to take the rest of our dough and spread it right over the top. And when this bakes up, oh, it's going to be so good. No Santa will be able to resist it come Christmas night. All right, kids, 375 degrees and 30 to 35 minutes later, this is what you've got, a whole 9 by 13 of Santa's favorite PB&J bars.